What's up guys, Athletic Education here, back with another video. So I just finished warming up and I did some agility ladder drills. So trying to work on my foot speed. So today I'm gonna give you guys some drills that you, for sprinters, you guys can do, like form work and a quick workout to finish it off. To start with, I'm gonna do some high knees and slow, like walking high knees, not running high knees. But as you see in the workout, and then we'll progress from there. So let's go. As you guys can see, I was focusing on making sure I stay 90 degrees with the arms as I bring the leg up 90 degrees as well. And if the foot struck, I, I pulled my foot through. So unfortunately, you can't really see it because of the height of the tripod and so on. But I'm gonna do three sets of those, so. guys if you haven't already noticed that drill is to work on form which is extremely important when it comes to sprinting it can make a very big difference usually oftentimes when you see a lot of people they have a lot of wasted motion when they're sprinting and that just causes them to slow down and get tired faster so when sprinting you want to you want to focus on making sure you have good form because it gets you faster saves you a lot more energy and it prevents injuries because if your form is bad that means some part of your body is, is over overworking, some part of some muscle is overworking, which can cause overuse and eventually lead to injury. So that's something you definitely want to avoid. So next I'm gonna do some butt kicks. Um, it's a, it's the other motion of sprinting. As you as you notice, and when you sprint, you bring your legs, your legs to your butt, but you don't want to over exaggerate it either. That's something that's very important. You definitely don't want to over exaggerate it. So I'm gonna do three sets of those as well. Let's go. Alright, so if you guys look closely enough, you notice that when I'm doing these drills, I am on my toes. That's because when it comes to sprinting, you want to make sure you have the, less, the least amount of ground contact time. Because the more time on the ground, the faster you're going to be off the ground, the slower you're going to be. So you want the least amount of ground contact time. And, you know. Alright, so now I'm going to get into some... Some bounding, some bounding sprints, and um, this is just like an over exaggerated motion of sprinting, but you're gonna be bounding instead. So let's not waste any more time, let's go. So, again, we're doing three, three sets of those. So that was the first set, let's get into the second one. Again, if you notice on that drill, I'm still on my toes. That's still the main focus. And then so now I'm gonna do some high knees. I'm gonna do three sets, but again, it's gonna be different than your traditional dynamics warm up um, high knees. I'm gonna be doing these a lot faster than usual, but my main focus is still gonna be on form 
and you know speed this is to work on your leg turnover speed and another thing you can do to work on turnover speed is work on an agility ladder that's why I purchased one I love it so let's go into it I'm gonna do three sets of those Alright guys, that's enough for the drills. Now let's get into the actual workout. So I'm gonna start with some acceleration drills because that's extremely important when it comes to sprints. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do five 20 meter sprints. This is gonna be a work on my transition phase, which means my held that my head is lower. I'm trying to build as much speed as I possibly can into that phase to transition into my upright phase or the second phase of a sprint. Alright guys, I've been here for a while now, it's pretty high, it's like 95 degrees out here, so I'm going to do one more exercise for you guys, I'm going to do three sets of flies, and the goal of the flies are to make sure, well to build up, to build up speed, and then when I'm at my target location, I want to hit top speed, but, so I'm going to come around that curve, and then once I hit the straightaway, I'm going to get into my running motion, my full speed, so I want to maintain, this is like um, after your dry phase or first phase of your sprint, you get into your actual running motion. So that's what I'm going to be working on and uh, my goal is to hit top speed as I do that. And I'm going to do three sets of those. And one of all focus, one thing I do want to add is that I want to be really relaxed when I'm sprinting. One thing that I also notice a lot in athletes is that when they're doing sprints, they tighten their whole body up as if like you say, it's like a flex, like flexing the whole body, making you tired faster, draining your energy, and of course you're gonna be slow because you're not as fluid. So I'm gonna aim to be really relaxed, so let's go. that's it guys for this workout it was a fantastic workout I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you like and subscribe peace